All right, my dears, it's Thursday. It's flow day. Flow day. Kanti, you're so uh, bathed in <laughs> bathed in light. <laughs> Profits will be the <laughs> playlist today. Profits. Okay, we're weird over here, clearly. Thank God. All right. So we're gonna flow, flow, flow today. We're gonna focus on some shoulder stability, but we're not gonna hold anything too terribly long today. So if your body is craving you to be more slow and steady, you can always do that. You can um, hold plank instead of doing chaturanga up dog. And that's a really great way to be more stable in your shoulder joints. But we will do my favorite shoulder stabilizer series, which is called, known as dolphin three ways. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while. So we're going to start. Kunti, what did you say in your video this morning about the land we're on and who the people are? So this is the land of Chuakutsi. Chuakutsi? Chuakutsi. I'll have to write it down. Um, and that is the original name for with the island and in the Lushutsi language, which is still alive today. Awesome. So that's another way of saying Coast Salish people. It's more specific and I love it. Chikutsi? Chikutsi. So Chikutsi. Beautiful. That's what I said. Okay. So honoring the land we're on, honoring this incredible gift that we have to be in relationship with land and water, with sky and air and fire with plants and animals, with ourselves and each other. I think that the practice of yoga is really just coming back again and 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 again to right relationship. How can I be in right relationship with myself, with the earth, with the water, with the plants, with the animals, with my beloved family and friends, and with the world at large, especially when I feel contracted, especially when I feel crunchy, especially when I feel sad or depleted, how can I can come back to right relationship? My sankalpa for this year is in this moment I choose life. And that has been such a mantra for me, whenever I felt overworked, overtired, over giving, over hoping, whatever happens inside of my being, in this moment, I choose life. In this moment, I choose life. So my prayer for you is that you have some mantra that can help you whenever you feel overwhelmed, stressed, tired, over giving, over hoping, whatever overextension that you do, that you can bring yourself back to right relationship again and again and again and again. Palms gather at our heart. Three ohms, deep breath in. Ah. Ah. our playlist profits I might have to turn that on it's on okay and we'll push play in three two one push play starting at the top of the mat 
making sure our feet are hip distance. And then just rock back and forth, side to side, a few little times there to feel into what the body feels right here, right now. And then circle sweep your arms out and up on the inhale. Fold forward over your legs on the exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back plank. You can always place your knees down, shift your weight forward, inhale, lower all the way to the floor, exhale. Cobra pose, inhale. Child's pose, exhale. Come up onto your knees, inhale. And sit back on your heels. Baby camel reaching behind you on the fingertips, lifting the hips, maybe just a little. Breathe in. Bring the hips down, the hands forward. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Stay for your inhale and cat. Come back to cow. Tuck your toes under, breathe in. Downward facing dog. You might pedal, you might sway. Lift your right leg to the sky, inhale. Draw your knee in toward your belly, chest or nose. Step your foot forward between your hands. Dip your hips, lift your heart, breathe in. Straighten your leg, breathe out. Stay for an inhale. Bend your knee, look forward, breathe in. Step forward and fold. Rise all the way up, inhale. Palms to the heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, plank. You could put your knees down. Shift your weight forward. Inhale. Exhale, lower to the earth. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, rise up onto your knees, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hero's pose, sit back on your heels. Fingertips come behind you for baby camel. You might tuck your tail, lift your hips an inch or more, and then come back to hands and knees. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Stay for an inhale in cat. Exhale, cow, breathe in, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, draw your knee in toward your belly, chest or nose. Step your foot forward, dip your hips, lift your heart, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Stay for an inhale, bend your knee, look forward, inhale, step forward and fold. Rise all the way up, inhale, mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Walker, hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up, inhale. Mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. 
Long breath out. Walker, hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Walk or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Mountain pose. One more. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, deep breath in. Long breath out. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Mountain pose. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward over your legs. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg to the sky. Draw the knee in toward your belly, chest or nose. Step the foot forward between your hands. Come all the way up, crescent lunge. Big inhale. Open yourselves, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, down dog your way. So that might include chaturanga or maybe you hold plank or maybe you simply step back to down dog. Left leg goes high. Draw the knee in toward your belly, chest or nose. Step the foot forward between your hands, dip your hips, lift up to crescent lunge and open yourselves to warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, down dog your way, down dog your way. Deep breath in together, long breath out. Two more breaths. Walk or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Deep breath in. Hold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga, or maybe you hold plank, or maybe you step back down dog, your choice, always choice, always agency. From down dog, lift that right leg high. Draw the knee in towards your belly, chest, or nose. Lift the leg back up again. Take it across your body now towards your left arm, across your body towards your left. Inhale, lift the leg up. Take it towards your right arm, towards your right arm. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, step it between your hands. Dip your hips, rise up, crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, back through exalted warrior. Down dog your way, down dog your way. Left leg high, inhale. Draw the knee in toward your belly, chest or nose. Lift the leg again. Take it across the body toward your right arm. 
Lift the leg again. Take it toward your left arm. Lift the leg up. Step the foot forward, dip your hips, rise all the way up, crescent lunge, big inhale. Warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale back through exalted. Down dog your way, down dog your way. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Fold over your legs, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Down dog, your way. Down dog, your way. All right, my dears, a little differently this time. Bring your knees down, bring your forearms down, bring your palms together, keep your elbows under your shoulders, lift your hips high, dolphin pose. So this is our first way of dolphin, if you can. So I like just my hands together like Anjali Mudra, but you can also interlace the fingers and tuck the bottom pinky under, that's another way. Try to focus on rooting down through your wrists because all the weight wants to go to the elbows. Bring some into the wrists, bend your knees generously, lift your sitting bones up to the sky, bring your shoulders away from your ears and draw your ribs in. Some of you might stay exactly like this. Some of you might lift your right leg to the sky. Some of you might stay exactly like this. Others might do a couple little hops, like kick up with the right leg, boop, boop, and then come down and switch legs, left leg lifts. You might stay exactly here. You might do a couple little boop, boop, <laughs> and then come to child's pose. Come to child's pose. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Next inhale, rise up onto your knees. Exhale, hero's pose. Baby camel reaching behind you and lifting your hips if they can lift. Exhale, place the booty down. Come back, place your forearms down, but this time we're gonna keep our hands apart. So if you have a block in between your hands, that's always a good indicator that the hands are not shifting inward. We wanna keep the shoulders and the elbows lined up. Lift your hips high, lift your hips high. Yeah. And so again, try to root through the wrist. It's gonna be a challenge because the weight will wanna go likely to your elbows lift your left leg yeah left leg and you might stay there or you might do a couple little kick ups you might even look forward see what happens if you look forward of smidge yep and then switching sides right leg goes up you can stay or a couple little kicks as you might look forward good and then come to child's pose come to child's pose Rise all the way up onto your knees, uncross your feet. <laughs> Sit back to hero's pose, so sassy. Inhale, baby camel, baby camel. Lift the hips, deep breath in. Exhale, back to hands, forearms down. This time, turn your palms up, turn your palms up. You might use a block because this way is really helpful, pushing into the block with the pinky toe edge sides of your hands, the heels of your hands. Lift your hips high. Now we're gonna wanna put weight in our wrists. You, likely your wrists are not on the ground. Likely there's a lot of your wrists that's off the ground and that's okay but we're grounding down there just so we don't have all the pressure on our elbows, yeah? You might bend your knees generously and lift your hips to the sky. You might walk your feet one, two steps towards your face, boobadoop, boobadoop, yeah? You might have your forehead on the block and that would be okay, or you might let your neck lengthen and it might come kind of behind the block as you bring your weight back. Uh-huh, nice. 
And I take about five more breaths there. Heels don't have to be anywhere near the floor here. We're not lifting our legs with this one because this is the most external rotation for our shoulders in a weight bearing position. <clears throat> And then coming down to child's pose. Great, taking a couple breaths there. And then coming all the way up on your knees, big inhale. Sit back on your heels, hero's pose. Baby camel, lift your hips, lift your heart. You're going to stay three breaths here, three breaths. So I really like this one. It's a good stretch for the quads, clearly. Tuck your tail a little bit. Begin to squeeze your shoulder blades toward one another and lift through the sternum. One more big breath in. And then come to hands and knees, this time back to downward facing dog. And we'll kind of go on with our regularly scheduled flow. Shift high on the balls of the feet, bend your knees, walk or hop yourselves to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, or just step back to down dog, your choice. From downward facing dog, our right leg is gonna lift. This time, bend your knee and spin your hip open. You might stay exactly like this, or you might shift onto your left forearm. If you shift onto your left forearm, you might take your right hand out to the right, like tripod headstand. You might straighten that right leg. Take a deep breath in. Push into both hands, come back, step that foot forward between the hands, crescent lunge, inhale as you rise, exhale warrior two, inhale exalted warrior, exhale side angle, inhale back through exalted warrior, this time, cartwheel the hands forward, come to side plank on the left, side plank on the left. You might have your left leg, you know, there. You might have the left knee down. You might lift the top leg up, all choice. Take a deep breath in. Down dog your way, could be through chaturanga. You could even float that right leg. Meaning in downward facing dog, the left leg goes high, bend the knee, spin the hip open. You could stay right here, or you could shift onto your right form as you walk your left hand out like tripod headstand, and then straightening that left leg, take a deep breath in, long breath out. So that's a huge shoulder strengthener, yeah? Push into both hands, lift both elbows, left leg is high, breathe in, step the foot forward, crescent lunge. Rise all the way up, inhale, open yourselves, warrior two, inhale, exalted warrior, exhale, side angle, inhale, back through exalted, and then cartwheel the hands forward, side plank on the right, side plank on the right, you could lift the left leg or you could have the right knee down, Whatever works for your body, take a deep breath in. Chaturanga, you might keep that left leg floating. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Notice your breath. Shift high on the balls of the feet, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Stand up straight and strong, palms right at your heart. Chair pose, breathe in. Palms come to your heart, twist to your right. Stay for a deep breath in and a long breath out. Come back, chair pose. Twist to the left. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. 
Inhale back to chair pose. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Down dog your way, down dog your way. Right leg goes high, bend the knee, spin the hip open. This time you might come and flip your dog. It might look like wild thing, which means that that left leg is like side plank and we're spinning the heart up to the sky. You're high on the ball of that right foot. Come back, lift that right leg high, breathe in. Step the foot forward between the hands, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Back through exalted warrior as you inhale. Side plank on the left. Deep breath in. Chaturanga, you might float that right leg. Cobra or up dog. Back to downward facing dog, deep breath in together. Long breath out, left leg lifts. Bend the knee, spin the hip open. You might stay or you might flip your dog. It might be wild thing, which means the right leg is like side plank. You're high on the ball, the left foot. Beautiful, inhale here. Exhale, both hands back to the earth. Inhale that left leg. Step the foot forward between the hands, crescent lunge. Inhale as you rise. Open warrior two, exhale. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted. Side plank on the right, side plank on the right. You might lift that left leg up, deep breath in. Chaturanga, you might keep that left leg floating. Cobra or up dog, both feet down. Downward facing dog, five breaths. Feel the energy you're moving in your body. Notice how can we keep our shoulders stable and safe even as we're flipping all over the place. So one more little add-on to this. Dancing dog sequence, right leg lifts, bend the knee, spin the hip open. You might come over into wild thing. Take a deep breath in, come back, both hands down, right leg is high. Take the leg across the body, straighten and thread it through. You might keep the right leg lifted or place it on the ground and lean back, open up, inhale. Come back, both hands are down, right leg lifts. Ooh -wee. Step the foot forward, crescent lunge. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, open it, warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Back through exalted warrior. Side plank on the left. Deep breath in. Chaturanga, you might keep that right leg floating. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in together. Long breath out. Left leg lifts, bend the knee and spin the hip open. You might stay or flip your dog. As you flip, take a deep breath in. Both hands come back, left leg high. Take the leg across the body, straight and thread it through. Right arm is up, left leg could be up or down as you lean back, big inhale. Come back, both hands down, left leg goes high. Step the foot forward for crescent lunge. Inhale here, open yourselves to warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale through to exalted. 
And then side plank on the right. You might lift that top leg. Deep breath in. Chaturanga, you might float that left leg. Cobra or up dog, big inhale. And then down dog, about five breaths. So that's a lot usually for most folks. You might be feeling energy moving in your body. Notice it. All right, keep the energy going for at least a couple more songs. <laughs> Shift high on the balls of the feet, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top, halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose, inhale. Stand up straight and strong, mountain pose, take a deep breath in together, long breath out. All right, chair pose, palms to the heart, twist to the right. Inhale, you might open your arms high to low. Stay for your exhale. Come back to chair, arms up, inhale. Twist left, exhale. Open your arms high to low, inhale. Stay for your exhale. Come back, chair, arms up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Down dog your way. Right leg lifts. Bend the knee and open your hip. You might stay, you might flip. Deep breath in. Come back, both hands down, right leg high. You might stay or take the leg across the body straight and thread it through. You can keep it up or down, take a deep breath in. Come back, both hands down, right leg high. Step forward, crescent lunge, big inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle now, this time half or full bind, half or full bind. You might stay exactly like this, or you might come to Bird of Paradise, stepping that left foot forward, rooting down through the left foot, like good bend to the knee. Yes, Kanti. And then rising up with that right leg, you could have a bind, or you could be holding on to the knee. You straighten and strengthen the standing leg, then open the heart, and then maybe straighten that right floating leg, big breath in. Place the foot back down, stepping the left foot back, maybe through a bound half moon, maybe through a bound half moon. Nice, deep breath in. Land back, warrior two. So good. Inhale, exalted warrior. Side plank on the left. Inhale here. Chaturanga, you might float that right leg. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in together. Long breath out. Your left leg lifts, bend the knee, spin the hip open. You might stay or flip your dog. One big inhale, exhale, come back. Inhale, lift that leg high, take it across the body to the right, lift the right arm up, left leg can stay up or down, breathe in. Come back, both hands down, inhale that left leg high, step the foot forward. Crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, side angle. Half bind or full bind. Half bind or full bind. And then maybe bird of paradise, stepping that right foot forward, getting a big bend to that right knee as you rise up with your left leg. Rooting right, opening heart, straightening left. And then bend that knee, place the foot down. 
Come back through half moon, maybe bound. Oh my goodness. Take a deep breath in. Land warrior two. Inhale, exalted warrior. Side plank on the right. You might lift that left leg. Big breath in. Chaturanga, you might float that left leg. Cobra or up dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Could be child's pose. So we're working our way today toward Pinchamayarasana. Pinchamayarasana which for most folks needs a wall, yeah? And Conti does it in the middle of the room, but it's really nice to have a wall if you have the wall space. We don't have a lot of wall space in this, in this studio, in this temple. That's the truth of it. So we're gonna come to child's pose for a few breaths. From child's pose, we're gonna rise up onto the knees and come to camel pose, ushtrasana, camel pose. So you might have your hands at your low back. You might have a block or a pillow between your upper thighs. Squeezing the block or pillow really helps. We're imagining we're actually gonna spin our thighs back. So if you have a block, the block would come behind you before it would come in front, yeah? And then sending the hips forward and sending the heart up and really squeezing your shoulder blades together. Beautiful, yes. And then lift up through the ribs. Really good. Maybe you reach your hands down toward your booty, your thighs, or even your heels. Yeah. Squeezing those shoulder blades. Yeah, and Conti's gonna... Put one hand behind her head for her neck. You could also bring your chin to your chest if you want it. And then the both hands could be back maybe. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. So some folks, it's hard to send the head back. And that's the truth of it. Hard on the neck. Great. And then sit back on the heels. Heroes pose for about five breaths. About five breaths. Feel the energy. Okay, so pinch a Mayurasana. You might have a block and you might place that block between your hands as you come onto your forearms. You might not have the block. We wanna keep the elbows under the shoulders as best we can. So dolphin pose, and this is absolutely where you can stay. Yeah, also known as forearm dog. You might walk your feet one, two steps toward your face. And that might be where you stay. You might lift your right leg up and that might be where you stay. You might do a couple kicks and that might be where you stay. Or you might be able to, as Conti is, kind of sticking that halfway, that 90 degree, yeah. And then maybe scissoring the legs together, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then maybe trying the other side kick, nice. And scissoring the legs, so good. So wherever you are in your journey, this is tail of the peacock, very fancy. Yeah. So, especially with those pants, very fancy. And then let's rest child's pose. Remember, a wall is your friend for any kind of inversion, yeah? And also one leg lifting and the other leg right on mother earth is still an inversion. It's strengthening your shoulder girdle. Be where you are with actual glee to be there. Yeah. Not feeling like there's some place we need to get or anything we need to prove. All right, my dears, we're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift on the inhale. 
forward fold on the exhale, chair pose on the inhale. Palms to the heart, twist to the right, maybe opening your arms high to low or maybe side crow, whatever works for your body today. When you're ready, fold forward over your legs. Fold forward over your legs. Here you might interlace the fingers behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Let your arms rinse out maybe an inch, maybe more off the low back. Release your hands. Chair pose, palms to the heart, twist to the left. You might open your arms high to low. You might have side crow, be wherever you wanna be right now and breathe. One more deep breath in. Fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Down dog your way, down dog your way. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, step that foot to the outside of the right hand. Bring your left knee to the earth and allow yourself to just gently nudge your right leg open as you look over your right shoulder. You might stay just like that. Or you might bend that left knee, reach back with that right hand, grab the foot, kick the foot into the hand, bit of a back bend, opening through the heart, opening through the shoulders. And then perhaps, might be more challenging, draw that heel in toward the booty and square your shoulders toward the earth. And breathe. Release that foot. Maybe you can shift to forearms, maybe. Maybe you'd rather stay on palms or use a block. Let that right knee open the best you can. Take a few breaths there. All right, my dears, so you're gonna come onto your hands. Tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee up and spin that back heel down like warrior two. See if you can come onto your forearms. And so we won't do the whole leg wrap thing today, just keeping it a little bit more open for this version of lizard pose. Noticing that right hip, noticing where you could let go in your head and neck.
And then my dears, making your way gently back to down dog. You might pedal, you might sway. Lift your left leg high. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Bring your right knee to the earth. Left hand can nudge your left thigh open. Look over your left shoulder. And stay there a couple breaths. And then maybe you bend that right knee, reach back with your left hand. If you can find the foot, you might kick the foot into the hand. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, open through the heart. You might draw the heel in toward the booty as you square your shoulders toward the earth. Breathe. Release that foot. See if you can maybe come to your forearms and really let that left knee open. And then come back to your palms, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee up, spin your back heel down like warrior two. Yeah. Maybe trying to root through the pinky toe edge side of that back foot. Breathing into this kind of agitating pose. <laughs> it was more your huffing and puffing. You're so stoic to something you really don't like. <laughs> it's all fun and games for me. So rude. Okay, two more breaths. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Oh, dear. <laughs> Not fair because we would be huffing and puffing at different poses anyway. <laughs> Oh. For some reason, baby camel is horrible for me. And that's what you could do all day or like soup de virasana, forget it. Which makes me think maybe soup de virasana would be a good thing to end this practice. Let's come on the hands and knees. And maybe widen your feet and sit back between your ankles. <laughs> You're very sassy. You're very much a um, seal. Flip, flip. Okay. Yeah, that's hard, right? Okay. Yeah. So you could be seated on a block. Yeah. Yeah. Or a pillow. Yeah. So typically, Kanti makes this look super easy. This is one of the most challenging poses in my body. Yeah. So if you want to come back just a little sort of like baby camel, like we've been doing great. 
if you want to come on the forearms, you can, but again, that might be a challenge for your ankles is where I usually feel it. So Conti moved the block behind the heart. That's a really good idea. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Do you feel your ankles at all? No. Yeah, I always feel the front of my ankles. Yeah, my ankles. Might be weight too, just more pressure. Never used to be that way, so that's why I blame it on. It's why right. the bodies change. Their bodies change. <laughs> they change, they age, they go up and down in weight, they have injury, so many things. So at some point you're gonna get up and out of this and to child's pose. So child's pose, you could have your knees together or apart, that's your choice. What feels useful. And then from here, we'll go over onto the back. Thread the needle on the right, thread the needle on the right. Let's practice a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Notice how your body's feeling. Notice if it's craving anything. We've done a lot of stuff, or you've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> Not so much me. <laughs> There's been forward folds, inversions, back bends, twists, all the things. Hip openers. Shoulder strengtheners, heart openers. We've pretty much covered all the bases, folks. Switch sides, thread the needle on the left. All right, my dears, release that. And then I think today let's end with a supported fish pose, supported fish. So if you have a block or a pillow or something, a book, a foam roller, anything that you can place the back of the heart, the shoulder blades, and then you can have your head kind of just dangling there or you could put a bolster or a pillow or a rolled up towel or something underneath your head. Just energetically, what does this do for you? Can you relax into it? Can you trust the support?
And then we're gonna gently try to move ourselves out of this posture and into the support under the butt, the legs up to the sky. Whenever you're ready, doesn't have to be right now, we'll come down to where our knees are bent and our feet are flat on the floor and whatever is underneath your butt is removed. And just windshield wiper your legs gently. And Shavasana corpse pose.
All right, my dears, when you're ready, back to a seat. We'll bring our palms to our heart, bathing in the glow of our sunlight and our practice. Goodness, beautiful. In the spirit of peace, we say Shanti, Shalom, Salam, Amani, Maluhia, Irini, Shia Khan, Jam, Pache. Us. In the spirit of our collective truth and liberation, we say, Ashe, Amin, Amen, Blessed be, Kapu Aloha, In Lakech, Satnam, Namaste, Atakwiasan, Black Lives Matter. <laughs>